here's a secretary that a client has commissioned me to paint. I have painted a lot of secretaries before, but this is by far the largest one that I've ever seen. Let's take a look at what we've got. So inside this bag are all the little drawers that go inside the piece that fits inside the uh, cabinet part of the secretary, the drop-down desk part. It was really nice that they had everything taken apart for me. Um, those are some pieces parts that were in that plastic bag along with some receipts that were found in the secretary that the owner would like me to incorporate into the piece so we can accommodate that desire. And um, so the top is behind there and also the finial that goes in between the um, pieces there and then the shelves and also the cabinet doors. It's a lot of painting to do but I'm happy to do it and we're gonna start by making these repairs. So first I had to figure out where those pieces went so that was relatively easy. I took all the drawers out of the piece to make it lighter and fortunately someone had already had them labeled. Here's the inspiration. My client sent me these pictures. I typically don't copy the work of another artist, but my client has requested this even to the detail of what was used. She used Dixie Bell paint and she also used Iron Orchid designs and a uh, deck pudge paper from Zazzle. My client has given me a little creative license to kind of um, make it work with what I have. Uh, the stencil I couldn't find, so I'm going to substitute. So I get busy on those repairs and I glue the sides of that missing piece and then I use the nail gun to put it into place. So the artist's name for the inspiration piece, on Facebook she goes by Aunt Eeks. So Aunt, like your favorite aunt, and Eek, <laughs> like Eek a mouse, but it kind of works out to Antiques. So, cool name. I looked to see if she had a YouTube channel and I haven't found one. I did send her a message because I think it might be a really cool collaboration if we um, discuss it. Who knows? I then attach the piece that was missing on the foot. I just glue it and clamp it together. And then I do use the nail gun again just to make sure that I have it secure. While it's drying, I take advantage of this opportunity to clean the bottom of the piece. It's always good to get rid of those little spider eggs and in this case a dead spider and anything else that's underneath there. Yuck! The brown on the rag tells me that that would be a bleeder. However, the bottom wasn't finished. So I'm still going to take heed and use a little bit of Dixie Belle's Boss. Boss is a stain and odor blocking primer and I'm just going to use a roller and put it on just to be on the safe side. Usually you should put two coats on but I'm just going to put one on. I just want to be sure. I'm trying to turn over a new leaf with my move and keep my paint jars all clean. So instead of just gooping on the paint and making it more difficult to open the jar. So we'll see how long I last with that. 
So tell me in the comments, are you neat with your paint jars or are you a little bit messy like me? I'm putting the roller in a bag so I can use it later without having to wash in between. And now I'm using Dixie Belle's sandbar and putting a coat of paint. This is the color that was used in the inspiration piece. I apply a second coat after the first one is dry and then I am using Dixie Belle's Royal Damask Stencil. This is not like the one in the inspiration piece but I think this will work for us. I am using Moonshine Metallics in Gold Digger. On the inspiration piece it was really hard for me to tell what color that was so I'm kind of using that creative license and doing uh, gold. I am going to mix in um, some sea spray with this. Sea spray is a texture additive. In the description of the original piece, it said that it was a raised stencil. So I add a little more because I think I have it too crumbly. And what I'm going to do with this, since I didn't mix a lot, is I'm just going to be really random with the uh, mixture that I have. I'm going to use the thingamajig from Dixie Bell, which is just a spatula kind of device or tool that uh, is made of silicone and it's really great for spreading uh, paint or spreading things like this. After I'm done being random, then I just decide that I'm going to finish it out with just straight up paint. I'm using a stencil brush and I am just using the paint that's in the lid and just getting the excess off on a paper towel so that the uh, paint doesn't run underneath the stencil. I'm loving the way it looks. The inspiration piece does not have the entire side covered. It leaves room for some butterflies. So I'm doing the same. And here's what it looks like when it's done. Next I'm taking Iron Orchid Designs and uh, the butterfly stamp and I am using stone gray ink and I'm just going to stamp a few butterflies and then when the decoupage paper arrives I will decoupage a few of those butterflies on the side.
spoiler alert, this is going to be a two-part video because I want you to see the rest of it next week. And while you're watching me stamp, um, and I love the way that turns out, it's so subtle, and I can't wait to see what the other ones look like on top of it. But um, I am busy getting ready to move, and I did share those, uh, share that news on the channel already. I'm moving uh, in with Atlas Furniture Imports in the Logan Valley Mall in Altoona, Pennsylvania, and he is carrying my brand so that's super exciting and i'll still carry uh iron orchid designs and dixie bell paint so i continue with this process just adding a few more butterflies and i just love that stone gray color because it's just so subtle before i did everything in black and then a customer of mine kind of turned me on to that and i love it so here is what that looks like so far Here's what the butterflies look like. That's on my computer. So it looks a little wavy. Um, also, remember, I'm changing the name really soon to Statement Designs. And I'm really loving looking at the new logo. There's nothing that you need to do. Just hang in there. And when the channel name changes, you'll be right here for more Statement Designs. I want to thank you for watching today, and if you like this content, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For the time being, you can visit us, oh and don't forget to subscribe, you can visit us at LeVintageDecor.company, on Instagram we're LeVintageDecor, and on Facebook we're LeVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well!